Hey, it's Seb de la Web, and today I'm back with one of my favorite topics, and that's errors. Uh, no, I hate this. I really hate it when I'm building a website or managing a WooCommerce web shop, and all of a sudden you get these you get these errors. And I always do a kind of basic troubleshooting to debug and see what is going on. So I created a quick tutorial, and hopefully it's useful for you, and you can find the solution much faster. Uh, the most common issues is that maybe your UX builder is not loading, uh, maybe specific functions you know on your product page or on your checkout uh, stopped working and it used to work before. Maybe you get error messages, that's even the worst when you get like critical errors, fatal errors and um, maybe you're unable to log in and you get this maintenance mode uh, message uh, while you were updating a specific plugin or maybe your website is just terribly slow. Well, I've created some best practices and also I'm going to show you that we have created a directory, directory now on Sap de la Web where you can find professionals and also with development skills because when it comes really technical, um, more creative, just like I am, is not enough. So have a look at our Flatsome professional directory where you can find people that really have the development skills. Having said that, uh, this is my uh, list. Uh, of my best practices to debug your uh, issue. So first of all, I always recommend to disable, if you're still able to log in in WordPress, to disable the optimization plugins. And what I mean by that is that when you go to the backend, to your plugin uh, section, uh, if, you're, if you understand a little bit, as you can see, I don't really have a lot of plugins. I try to keep my setup as clean as possible also, if you have a lot of plugins that you're not using be anymore, just make sure to delete them. However, in the most cases, the most common issues comes with optimization plugins. And what I mean by that is you will probably install plugins to optimize your speed, uh, making it really uh, good in the ranking, uh, in the Google Page Insights. And for now, I only have installed Flying Press. That is my go-to uh, optimization plugin for uh, optimizing, optimizing my uh, WordPress website. But maybe you have WP Rocket or any kind of other plugin. And I always recommend first to disable one of those plugins just to see if that already solves the issue. Uh, because in many cases, it really does. So deactivate your optimization plugins and then see if the issue are still persisting and maybe the, the fix is already in just de deactivating that. And once you um, made clear that the problem lies within the optimization plugin, you can go inside the optimization settings. For example, with Flying Press, I could just say, okay, let's disable the minify CSS or maybe there are some uh, min uh, compressing tools for my JavaScript. And then you can just go through your um, settings and then maybe you can uh, really specify the specific problem. All right, so that's the first tip. Then the second one is disable the code snippets plugin. Uh, we are working with WP Codebox. Maybe you have another plugin managing your snippets. If you have a very advanced WordPress WooCommerce setup, in many cases you will be probably adding snippets just like I do, just to get specific functionalities uh, within my uh, installation. However, sometimes those snippets are giving the problem. So you can either, you know, disable your snippets one by one, that is possible, but you can also go to plugins and disable your snippet management uh, plugin. So I have WP Code Box, maybe you have a other snippet plugin. Just deactivate that and see if that already gives the solution. Whenever that is the situation, then again, you can go to your snippets plugin and then disable them one by one just to specify uh, the, the problem or also the solution. Uh, next thing up is to, of course, update your Flatsome theme. Uh, sometimes updating the Flatsome theme even gives you a problem. So then I say, I, I recommend, you know, uh, downgrading it, putting the update back. However, sometimes you have a very old version of Flatsome and that could really give you, give you the problem because updating it to the latest version will make it also compatible with WooCommerce and, and WordPress latest version. So I highly recommend updating it uh, to the latest version. Uh, next thing up is also update all your plugins. 
So as you can see, all my plugins are updated and I enable also always the auto updates. So I'm pretty sure that my, uh, my plugin library is up to date. Uh, and also, if you still didn't find the solution, then maybe a specific plugin is interfering with, uh, with your setup, meaning that a specific plugin could be the issue. So in that case, I would recommend deactivating them one by one and then go to the front end, refresh your page and see if that gives the solution. I really recommend focusing on uh, plugins that are related to caching, security or any other content builders. Um, yeah. So let's say you cannot really access your WordPress backend, then there's not much to do within WordPress. So then I recommend, you know, contacting your support company or your hosting company support, uh, because sometimes it's really related to the installation or hosting or PHP versions. Uh, and then it's much easier just to contact. We are working with Rocket Hosting and we just, uh, in many cases, we, uh, we just go to the support, ask them the questions, and if they have a proper support, they will, uh, they will help you out. So uh, make sure when you cannot log in on WordPress, just to reach out to your hosting company. All right, and sometimes you have the maintenance mode stuck. And what I mean by that, let me just quickly show you that. So um, then you get something like this, briefly unavailable, schedule for maintenance, and you cannot do anything anymore. So in that case, you need to get your FTP details and maybe that's a little bit technical, but with your FTP details, you can log in on your server. You can find all your files and then you need to locate the maintenance file, delete that file. And whenever you delete that file, you can refresh and then it's working again. I've also made sure to create a link that goes to a different tutorial that explains all about this issue. So let's say you still need help. Uh, again, if you cannot fix it with your hosting provider, maybe you're hosting the website your own, um, then it's really difficult to, uh, to reach out. Uh, then I recommend going to the Flatsome Facebook group. There's a, let me check, a great community of, uh, of users and you can just uh, put in your question here and then hopefully uh, somebody else uh, will assist you. Uh, besides that, of course, when you purchase the license uh, of Flatsom, you can also reach out to the support of Flatsom. And uh, again, if you need technical assistance or any kind of extra help, you can go to our Flatsom professional directory where you can find um, the ever-growing library of good professionals that can help you out with any kind of situation. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you have an issue that you haven't, uh, that I haven't uh, 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 pinpointed in this video. So let me know in the comments below. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and make sure to also look at Sepp de la Web where we have tons of great resources to get even better with Flatsome. All right, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.